individuals with great stories of bravery and heroism. These are not just stories about Christopher Reeve or Lance Armstrong or Dr. Marty Eichelberger or our own Kelly Ransdell, but they're real life inspirational stories about everyday people like many of you. They're nurses, health educators, daycare providers, police officers, and other first responders. I would like to share five lessons that I have learned throughout my career. These might be considered principles that have helped guide me. And these are principles that I call the five big E's of philanthropy. Embrace entrepreneurship, encourage collaboration, explain your work, enable others to, to serve, and do extraordinary things. The child passenger safety management tool and how we can use that um, locally and also to um, the checklist forms, your favorite thing. So here's, here's something that I've always found really, really helpful for me to kind of frame up and dream about in our state anywhere else is this concept of an injury iceberg. And it's my pleasure to introduce Peg O'Connell. Um, Peg has taken on a new role with the Safe Kids board, and so we wanted to give you the opportunity to hear from her. So that if you As I told you last year, and Jim has told you many, many times, he was very proud of the work that you do here at Safe Kids and the important role that you at the local level play in protecting our children here. When we started the first week, I got four different people said, you've got to work with Safe Kids. They're amazing. You have to meet these people. They're wonderful. They actually make things work. I am Krista Reagan. I'm the research director of the North Carolina Child Fatality Prevention Team. In 2009, um, every single age category that came out of our emergency department had within the top three causes of ED visits um, drug adverse effects related to um, prescription drugs. About what education the Poison Center can offer you as you're educating about the significant cause of injury for children and adults. But a little bit about uh, some more weather. Um, I know that weather is not a direct program under the Safe Kids program, um, but looking at our mutual missions, uh, they seem to kind of overlap. We never have school buses uh, focused mainly on kids being hit by motorists. Uh, that's what we do. As you can see, there's uh, 15,000 times of And thanks to all of you, uh, you know you are my coalition. I am Pamela Becker, Safe Kids North Carolina, all jammed in together. Uh, but I hope you've all had a great Safe Kids conference uh, thus far and are taking some very useful information back, back home with you to our North Carolina communities. As you know, as a parent myself, I'd just like to say thank you for what you do, uh, for the work that you provide in preventing injuries and deaths to children all across this state. Uh, the work you do can't be measured uh, uh, because there's so many families that benefit from, from the information you share, from the the materials you provide, and then from all the help that you give uh, caregivers across North Carolina. It is valuable work indeed, and I appreciate that we have such dedicated Safe Kids uh, coalitions and a Safe Kids network throughout the Tar Heel State. And with that, let's get started. I hope you enjoyed your lunch. The first award will be...